Find the critical number of the function, if any, find the open interval on which the function is increasing or decreasing and locate all relative extrema. So we said the first thing that we need to do is we need to identify the domain. Now with this, we can see there's no denominator and there's no square root. So this graph is continuous. So the uh, the interval of this will be from negative infinity to positive infinity because there is no uh, restriction. And second that we need to do is we need to solve the derivative of the function. So the derivative of this, remember the formula that we have d over dx of x to the n is equal to n x to the n minus 1. So this is the one that we will apply for this uh, problem. So we have 2, then we said n, which is 3, then x to the 3 minus 1, as says n minus 1. Then plus 3, then the exponent is 2, then x to the 2 minus 1, minus 12, and the exponent is 1, x to the 1 minus 1. Then let's simplify this. So this will be equal to 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, then x to the second power, plus 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, then x, then minus 12, x to the 0. Anything raised to 0 is equal to 1. So as we can see, we have a common factor of 6. So we can factor out the 6, so we have x squared plus 6 divided by 6 is 1, so we have x, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Then we will factor this out, so this is our derivative. Then next that we need to do is we need to uh, get the critical numbers or the series of the derivative. So the series of the derivative, we will need to equate this to 0. So 6 and have x squared plus x minus 2. So divide by 6. So have 0 is equal to x squared plus x minus 2. Now we need to factor out x squared. x squared plus x minus 2. This will be x and x. And negative 2, factors of negative 2 is negative 1 and 2. And 1 and negative 2. But we need the, to get the factor or use the factor that will result to 1. So we have negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And we have 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. So we're using negative 1 and 2. So check this. So we have x multiplied by 2 is 2x. And multiply the inner factor x multiplied by negative 1 is negative 1x. So negative 1x plus 2x is 1x, which is the middle term. So meaning our factors are x minus 1 and x plus 2. So we can rewrite this as x minus 1 and x plus 2. Then we can get the zeros of our derivative. So we have 0 is equal to x minus 1 and 0 is equal to x plus 2. Add 1 both sides, therefore x is equal to 1. Subtract to both sides, then we have negative 2 is our x. Then we can, we can uh, step 4. We need to get the derivative, uh, derivative test or the first derivative test. So we will do the first derivative test. To do that, we need to do our interval. So uh, our endpoint is negative infinity is less than equal to x is less than equal to negative 2. So that is our first interval. So we have negative 2 is less than equal to x, less than equal to 1. Then we have 1 is less than equal to x, less than equal to infinity. So we use the negative infinity, then negative 2, then negative 2 and 1, which are negative 2 and 1, and we have 1 and infinity. Now, we will choose our test value. So we will do in between negative infinity and negative 2, I will just choose negative 3. You can choose any number in between negative infinity and negative 2. 
between negative 2 and 1 it is easier to just choose 0 and between 1 and positive infinity I will just choose 2 so you cannot choose you can use any number in between 1 to infinity but not the 1 now after that we will substitute this in our derivative so we will have I will use the factored one so we have x minus 1 and x plus 2 of our derivative then we will substitute the negative 3 so to get the factors or the sign we have negative 3 minus 1 and negative 3 plus 2 so I substituted negative 3 in our derivative so this will be negative 4 multiplied by negative 1 negative and negative will produce to positive so the result will be positive then after that we will uh, substitute the 0 so we have 0 minus 1 for this and 0 plus 2 so we have negative 1 and 2 it will result to a negative so we said it's negative then the last one we have 2 so we have 2 minus 1 and 2 plus 2 so this will be 1 multiplied by 4 which is result to positive now we know that this will be increasing this will be decreasing and this will be increasing so now for step 5 we can identify our intervals so we have for increasing we have a negative infinity to negative 2 and we have 1 to positive infinity then for decreasing for decreasing we can have negative 2 to 1 now the other thing that we need to do also is we need to locate all relative extrema for relative extrema we need to substitute our zeros of your derivative to the original equation so let's do that one so we have for the relative extrema we need to substitute our zeros so the the critical number which are the zeros of the derivative are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 2 now we will substitute this to our original equation not the derivative original equation minus 12x so we will substitute 1 so this is 2 multiplied by 1 to the third plus 3 multiplied by 1 squared minus 12 multiplied by 1 so this will be 2 plus 3 minus 12 so this will be 2 plus 3 is 5 minus 12 will be negative 7 and the other one the f sub negative 2 so this will be 2 multiplied by negative 2 to the third plus 3 multiply by negative 2 to the second power minus 12 multiplied by negative 2 so this will be negative 2 to the third is 8 negative 8 multiplied by uh, 2 is negative 16 negative 2 squared is 4 plus uh, multiplied by 3 is 12 and negative 2 multiplied by negative 12 is uh, positive 24 so negative 16 plus 12 is negative 4 negative 4 plus 24 is 20 so that will be f sub negative 2 now if we if we will uh, analyze this that you know between between negative infinity to negative 2 it is increasing so our graph is kind of like this and this is our negative 2 then between negative 2 and up uh, 1 it's decreasing so it's going down then between 1 and positive infinity it is going up so our graph is kind of like this so meaning at x is equal to negative 2 that this will be our maximum 
So as we can see, it is greater, so this will be our maximum point. Then, from neg the 1 is going down, so this is our minimum point. So this will be our minimum point. So that's why we do the uh, derivative test, so we know where are we increasing and decreasing, and we will know our extrema. So let's recap it. We said, okay, so the derivative is is x minus 1 and x plus 2. The critical numbers are uh, x is equal to 1, x is equal to negative 2 from our derivative. And the maximum or the minimum, the maximum is 20 and the minimum is negative 7. So these are answers.